Paul Vera. Paul Vera died while Louise was gently stroking her left paw. First Louise cried, and then she decided Vera should at least have a decent funeral. I can't bury her here, Louise told her friend Emily on the telephone. You know what our yard's like? All concrete, said Emily, and all her claws were pulled out before we got her, wailed Louise. And she couldn't climb trees, and she was afraid to go outdoors. Bring her round ours, said Emily. We'll pick some flowers and put her at the end of the garden. So before her mother or father got home, the wee set off to meet Emily at the supermarket, carrying a plastic bag with Vera inside it, lightly covered with tissue paper. Let's have a look, said Emily. Later, said Louise. We can get an ice cream anyhow, said Emily. I've got some money, Lou. Louise carefully put down the plastic bag on an empty rack next to the cereals, and the two, gir and the two girls headed across the store to the freezer. What about Kit Kats then, said Emily, in memory of Vera? While they were still trying to make up their minds, Louise and Emily heard a shout and watched as several people gathered and bent down beside one of the checkout counters. What's happened, asked Louise. Then they saw. On the stone floor lay a big woman, very big, spread eagled like a starfish. Beside her were a couple of spilled plastic bags, and there was a third bag lying right across her bosom. But poor Vera's head was sticking out of it. 